Uh, this looks like a bit like the Death Star from Star Wars. What do we have here? It certainly does. Um, well, this is actually one of America's first uh, communication satellites. This is called Telstar, and it's from uh, about 1963. Uh, and this is one of the real technical backups. So, um, as with almost all, you know, space uh, hardware launches, you're always going to have some backup things in case something goes wrong with the original mission. And um, just out of curiosity, I, I went over the, here the other day and put a voltmeter on these solar cells, and they're actually still putting out voltage. And it's after you know, how many years? Yeah, it's uh, it's incredible. What what is it? Fifty years? Fifty years. Yeah. Fifty years. It's still yeah. putting out power. Oh, over fifty years, and it's still putting out between eight and uh, ten volts per per pound. Uh, what exactly are you doing to preserve this? Well, this is you know another one of those artifacts that's going out on loan. This is going to the LBJ uh, Museum down in uh, in Texas. Uh, because this is part of his uh, his administration, um, and so th this artifact came into the shop. Uh, it was covered with dust, um, uh, with a lot of early hardware. They used you know fugitive materials, and so the internal structure is made out of welded uh, magnesium components, and uh, it was starting to corrode. Uh, when this thing was built, that wasn't a concern because it was going to be in the vacuum of space. But here on Earth, you know when the humidity goes up, magnesium wants to deteriorate. Uh, also, if you look around the perimeter here, these are little uh, antenna, and they're plated with silver because silver conducts electricity so well, and silver in this uh, normal Earth atmosphere is going to be susceptible to uh, contaminants in the air, and so we actually go had to go around and polish the silver antenna.